Hey friends, it is me Alana. Welcome back to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. For this video, I want to do my March TBR for you all. I am currently in my room and I never realized how good of a lighting this angle is. So maybe we'll get more room videos in the future. I don't know. Yeah, I wanted to do my March TBR for this video. I wanted to let you know what I will be reading. I wanted to know what I will be reading because I don't know yet. So yeah, I have my trusty, dusty jar here full of prompts and I will be picking out five and then we will be talking about what books I could be reading. We will pick one. We'll go in the middle. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, let's don't bother about. Okay. Ooh, free choice. Love that for me. So, yay! I get a little little free choice, which is good because I have some I have some options up there I can choose from. Next, I'll pick from the top here this one. Um, a dystopian. I have to pick a dystopian novel. That'll be interesting because I also have a couple choices up here I can do for that. Okay, okay, okay. Reaching in, reaching in, reaching in. Touching the bottom. I think this is from the bottom. A debut author or a novel. So, I think I have a few of those. I think I could do it. So, three so far, so I get two more. What is this? A book with a quest or a journey. I think I have, a, again, a few of those I could probably choose from. I think it's more just a preference, so. Okay, all right, last prompt is, I'll do this one, just like a play. Okay, so choose a book on your shelf without looking. So I'll even film that. All right, so I have my five prompts, so I'm gonna go ahead and step away really quickly so I can pick out some books that can maybe fit these props. So BRB. All right, friends, so I am back and I have my choices. So we'll go through them one by one. So for my free choice, the book that I chose for that one is Gleam, which is book three in the plated Prisoner series by Raven Kennedy in January or maybe it was February one of the months I sped through the first two books in this series because they were so so good <laughs> and I was thinking of putting this off until it was closer to the fourth one's release but I really can't put it off anymore so I just decided to go ahead and read it this month because it's just so good and I'm hooked and I'm hype so Monet and Cell are going to have to go through uh, my never-ending text messages about this book now. And it'll be so fun. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, in case you don't know, so this is following Oren, who is like... Friends, or has like a really close relationship with King Midas. And because of their past... He has basically placed her in this like golden cage for the past like 10 years um, because he he says it's to keep her safe and so um, through different circumstances she ends up having to leave the cage to go on a journey and I feel like this is kind of like her realizing that like Maybe this cage was a little sus, but that's like the best way I know how to describe it because it's such a interesting series that I don't really know how to put the things into words. Next, I had a book with a quest or journey. So for that one, I actually chose um, The War of Two Queens by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I believe this comes out this month anyways. And that one obviously has a quest if you've read up until this point. Um, there is another quest that Poppy is going to basically have to go on because of the way the third book ended. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't really know what to expect in this book. The third one kind of disappointed me, so I don't really know 
how this fourth one is gonna do for me I feel like it's probably gonna make or break whether I, I continue on in the series but I'm willing to give it another chance and see where it goes I'm thinking I'm gonna be reading that with Cell and Tiana so I'm really hyped to read that with them and see where the next um, part of Poppy's story goes a debut novel which i actually just bought this so this fits perfectly it's going to be um you truly assumed by Layla sabrine um i believe this is her debut novel i checked in the back and i didn't really see any other listed books that she's written so i'm here for this um this is about three muslim girls who i think due to like a terrorist attack endure a lot of um, prejudice against them and so like due to their like religion and so they um, create like this online community in order to help other them and then like others like them cope and everything and so I'm really hyped to see how this plays out um, I really I really think it's gonna be a cool story I think this cover is so gorgeous too so I'm here to check it out Ooh, my camera is dying so I'm gonna try and hurry this up the dystopian and I may regret this but I'm doing a little project and the book I chose for that one is Divergent by Veronica Roth I'm not gonna spoil you on my project because I don't even know if it's gonna come to fruition but this is part of it so as I don't know if you've ever seen any of my early video, earlier videos you know how I say I really don't trust Veronica Roth she ruined my trust in her as an author from this trilogy so I don't know how I'm gonna feel but I decided to at least reread the first one and go from there so I don't know what I'm thinking I might be crazy but we're going with it hey friends um, editing Alana here so I did film a clip of me like choosing a book off my TBR with my eyes closed but for some reason um, when I like put the, the video into um, my editing stuff it turned out really weird like the the quality of the video so um instead i'm just gonna move forward to the clip where i talk about the book i chose um just know i really did film with my eyes closed like i didn't cheat um but yeah so then um the book i obviously i chose was duke actually which is a cute little christmasy romance it's not christmas anymore but i'm gonna go with it because it's still kind of cold so whatever um aaron read this and thought it was really cute so that's why i went ahead and bought it because i was like i'll give it a try and I love kind of royalty romances where there's like an accidental meeting of some type of royal or something and our monarchy and they fall in love or whatever whatever so I really like that so I'm willing to give this one a try too and go from there I think it's about a duke who like is exiled or something and he meets this lady by chance and they like have a Christmas romance so eh, we'll see so then I have a few add-ons as well so I'm going to be trying to read um, Crooked Kingdom for the buzzword for merch, which is locations. So hopefully I can do that. I also have um, three more add-ons that I'm going to try to fit in due to different circumstances. And that is Throne of Glass by Sergei Moss. I read House of Breath and Blood and House of Sky and Breath. I enjoyed both of them. So I want to go back and reread Sarah's backlist. I've already read Throne of Glass, but I need to do a reread because I don't remember much from it. So this is me doing that. So this is me tacking this on. I have the audio primed and ready for when I decide to go ahead and press start. So this is going to be a journey. Wish me luck, please. And then I'm doing a special project different from the Divergent one. And so I'm going to be trying to read The Poppy War by RF Kuang um, this month. <laughs> Wish me luck for this because I do not know how it's going to go for me. And then I'm also going to be trying to read Strange of the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Um, so yeah, I do not know how those are going to go. But I'm hoping to, like once I finish my official TBR, be able to get to those as well. So we shall see. Hey friends, it is me. Um, sorry if there's any background noise. Uh, I realized that... I filmed this so early that 
I didn't account for the fact that the magical readathon will be happening in March. So I'm also going to be taking part in that since it's only two prompts. So definitely can knock that out probably. So um, for the magical readathon, I think it's something to do with like conduits and legacies. And I guess this is just like your where your power is kind of going, I guess. You should probably watch G's video video for a better explanation because I'm probably not going to explain it. But um, from the last round, um, my character, I chose an elf. Um, they are part of the Mind Walkers Guild uh, because it, it just like felt like me when I read the description. And then the land, they're from Carador and from like an urban setting. So those are all the descriptions I have for my character so far. So then... Um, the conduit for the mind walkers is specifically a dagger, so that is to read a standalone. So for that one, I actually chose um, The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker, partially because um, this is one I've been wanting to read for a bit, and Monet really liked it, so I definitely want to give it a chance. Um, and it's been on my radar. So I figured it would be a perfect time to read it. I think, I, for the conduits, I was a little confused, so I don't know if we can choose two or not, but I just chose another one, just in case. So I chose the staff, because I think it's just really cool. Like, I think staffs are really awesome. Um, so that is a book from a series. So I'm going to choose between two books so um when i get to like when the readathon starts i'll probably choose between either one so i'm either gonna do steel striker by marie lou which is the last book in the sky hunter duology and then um the next or i'm gonna choose gleam by raven kennedy which is the third book in the plated prisoner series so i'm gonna choose between those two and then um for a legacy so that one was weird but i chose um the psychic plane so that was read a supernatural book so um for this one i'm either gonna choose color of dragons by our by r.a salvatore because dragons are definitely supernatural um or war of two queens by jennifer l armatrop because that whole thing is supernatural. <laughs> so, um, that's what I was thinking. Um, so those are kind of the add-on books I'm going to be doing in March as well. But that is my March TBR, so hopefully you all enjoyed it. Please let me know down below, um, which I'll be reading in March, I would like to know. Um, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave those down below. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a good old thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are all some flowers in the world full of weeds. Mm -hmm.